Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And today I'm going to walk you through making a shark coaster. One real quick note before we get started. If you sign up for practical making in September, instead of coming through the drive-thru or the front desk to pick up your bags, we're actually going back to in-person events. So if you sign up in September, you will come meet with me up upstairs in the community room and we'll actually do it all together just like we used to. So without any further ado, shark coasters. Let's take a look and see what you got in your box. Your coaster mold, your sharks, you'll pick one, cellophane glitter, pigment, Mod Podge, your resin mixing, and then you should have two cups to mix it in. You'll have a paintbrush and some stir sticks. Okay, so we are gonna start out with that coaster mold and the first thing you gotta do is figure out which shark you wanna use. They should all fit in there. Um, it's just a matter of personal taste, which one you like the best. And I think I like this kind of tiny one leaping out of the water. Okay, so now that I have made that very important decision, I'm gonna take one of my empty cups and we're going to mix the resin and the hardener together and then pour it into our coaster mold. You wanna keep it about half and half and the resin pours much slower than the hardener, so just be aware of that and it's okay to just eyeball it. Um, so we're gonna start with our resin, use about half of it, and then you're gonna use the same amount of the hardener, pour that in there, and then we're just gonna stir that together for about a minute or two. Use one of your wooden stir sticks and very slowly uh, combine that. I won't show you the, all the stirring time because it's fairly boring but eventually it'll start to look like one type of cloudy mixture. That's when we're gonna get our blue pigment and we're gonna pour that in. I'm gonna use about half of what I have in there to start out with. You can always add more. Again, you're just gonna really slowly stir that in. You don't wanna stir quick and create bubbles, but just stir until it all starts to be the same color. It'll start to look really metallic. It'll start to look really iridescent. Uh, it'll have a really cool reflective kind of property to it. We want it to look molten and kind of like, like ocean water. Once you get it to that point, we are going to pour a thin layer into our coaster mold. That's going to look like this and we're going to let it sit for 12 hours. So the next morning when you come, just fill one of those cups with water and we want to dip whatever shark picture you decided to use just in there real quick. You just want it to get wet enough that it will start to kind of fold on itself, kind of roll on itself. Go ahead and uh, make sure that it's wet all the way around. Kind of set that aside for a second. And that's when we're going to open your small container, which is going to have the Mod Podge. Using your brush, take that Mod Podge and go ahead and paint the entire top of that coaster. And then, then we're going to paint the back of your shark, coat that whole thing with a pretty decent coat of Mod Podge, and then we're going to stick it wherever you would like it to end up on that coaster. I'm going to put mine right in the middle because I know I want room for the glitter and the coming out of the water splashiness. So make sure that that's adhered in place and then we're going to paint over the top of all of it with Mod Podge and we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna do it two more times, letting it dry fully in between. Once it dries, it'll be pretty clear, and you'll go ahead and put that next coat on. Um, make sure to go all the way to the edge. You wanna make sure to get everything. And then once you have done that, that's when we get to mix in the cellophane glitter with what's left of your Mod Podge. Um, your Mod Podge is already in that small container, so you'll just dump your glitter right into there and start to mix it up. You want it to be pretty chunky um, because we want to kind of spackle it on there as opposed to painting it on there. And what you're going to do is 
all around the spot where the shark is coming out of the water. That's where we want the glittery, gritty, crunchy glitter to go. And this is one of the things too that we're gonna wanna do more than once. So you're gonna wanna let it dry, take a look, see if you like how it looks. If you're like me, you always want to add a little more, a little more, and a little more. And again, you wanna let that dry until it's completely dry. Otherwise, when we put the final resin coating on, it'll turn kind of a milky color. So make sure that that glue is 100% dry before we go on to the final part of our coaster. Once it is completely dry, it'll look a little bit like this. So a very fancy glittery shark coming out of the water. Um, and this is when we're gonna take the very last bit of our resin and our hardener and take a look and see how much room you have left in your coaster. Um, see how high your glitter is. Um, you wanna make sure that the top of it will be flat so if you do use it for putting cups on, um, it will stay flat. So using that last mixing cup, the one you had the water in, um, go ahead and mix equal parts resin and hardener and slowly for a minute or two stir those together just like we did when we started out except this one you're not going to add any blue pigment to you're going to keep this one clear and when you've got it all a pretty similar consistency we're just going to slowly pour on a final thin coat of the clear resin And I'm gonna start pouring mine kind of in the middle and then just like you would with, I don't know, a cake tin, you can sort of bend it and move it around to make sure that that resin goes all the way to the edge. And then your last little bit is just to let that sit again for another 12 hours until it's totally solid and dry. Then you can remove that outer coaster mold and you will be all set for your very own shark coaster. Thank you for following along. I hope you guys found that as cool as I did. I was really excited about this one. Have a great month and I hope to see you all in September.